welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Area 51. Until recently, this top secret facility was considered highly classified and was rumored to house both information and experimentation on alien life forms. Due to a legal technicality, however, it was declassified and made available for purchase. Luckily for you, your favorite theme park creator, Dr. D-Dub, jumped on the opportunity to turn this experimental alien facility into a theme park that is out of this world. Please stand by as we erect the necessary infrastructure to make your stay here at Area 51 an enjoyable one. Thank you once again for choosing one of Dr. D-Dub's theme parks as your entertainment destination. Hello there, and welcome to Area 51. If you guys didn't watch our episode, or our last episode, our objective on this one is to have 900 guests by the end of year four, and also that we have this gigantic boulder, which I'm going to assume can only have come from space. That is right. That is why this site belongs to Area 51. It's a top secret alien facility or research facility that the government recently released and that we purchased to build a theme park upon. So this giant boulder in the middle is actually a giant space rock that we're going to transform quite a bit uh, cosmetically. It's going to look quite a bit different by the end of this. I think it's going to be pretty cool looking. I played around with some ideas. And I think you guys are going to like it. This park's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, and what better park to do it on than our last one? It's going to be so cool. All right, so for our staff uniforms, the color for this park is primarily going to be... Well, I say primarily. It's going to be a couple different colors, but purple is kind of what we're going to be shooting for. Purple and really green, I think, is going to look nice. Uh, so we're actually going to make this a green line, and we're going to do that kind of with all of our... All our cues in this park, I believe, we're going to do as green, and then all of our staff in purple. 
you can see I already placed a couple restrooms around. I've got two sort of food court setups going. One at the lower level and one at the upper level. And then we've got all of our handymen and mechanics taken care of, as well as a couple security guards for good measure. All right, we're going to get started off or started right off the bat by adding a couple smaller rides. We're going to start with a... Ooh, excuse me. A scrambled eggs ride. I just I just ate lunch and... <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Um, okay, so we're going to do that right there. I think that's going to actually look really cool, just where that's at. Um, and then for scrambled eggs one, we're actually going to name this one... It's, it's going to get us started real nicely. Extra terrestrial eggs. <laughs> so ET eggs for short. I think that's really cool. All right. So we're going to run our exit down here. And our queue lines, we're going to start actually underground. Which is pretty neat. I'm going to very much look forward to... Kind of messing about with all of this space that we have underground. I think it's going to end up coming out really cool. All right. And then for the entrance and exits on these, I think I might want to do... Um, You know, actually, we'll stick with plane for now. Um, if you guys saw in that time lapse, I actually have it checked to only research scenery and theming. Because I'm really trying to unlock the... Martian theming objects. We start out with the desert or Egyptian one because we're here technically on a desert. But I'm using that to my advantage. Area 51 in real life, which is a real place, is a government owned facility that does like top secret research on a bunch of different things. Uh, experimental like mil military tech that isn't available to the public or even known by the public. And it's out, I believe, in a desert in Arizona. I think. Don't quote me on that. Not exactly sure where it's at, but it's in a desert. So if something does go wrong, no one is near them. Uh, and so it's kind of a, a fail safe in that regard. All right. So we're going to test and open it. Not sure why I tested it because we're going to up the rotations, which changes everything, but no one will probably care. And we should be getting test results here any second. But until then, we will charge to... 80 because I can't ever seem to remember things 210 okay and this is going to be another park that we decorate very heavily uh it's going to look amazing when we're done with it I have no reason really not to heavily decorate everything because well we have four years on this park and we're gonna have the money to do it it's I have no reason not to simple as that all right, so bottom lift is going to cover both of these extraterrestrial egg. Eggs or egg? ET eggs. I think that sounds better. Yeah, we'll leave it plural. Uh, okay, so that takes care of that. We're also going to add... Uh, we need to add a few smaller things. You know what? Actually, let's start with a steel coaster. Why don't we do that? Uh, I've kind of got an idea for what I want to do with the steel coaster. It's going to take me a little bit to get it set up, so bear with me here. Um, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that. All right, so we're going to start it, I think. I think it's going to look really cool if we start it like coming out just like of the side of this giant boulder. I think that's going to look cool. Um, and to get it there, we kind of got to cheat a little bit or not cheat but i don't know how else to get it up here so um we'll go up a little bit and then flatten out and then we're trying to just basically line it up right here i think this is where i want it one two three four five i actually don't want station right there i want it to yeah, okay, I think that's what I want. So when you look at it like this, all you see is track coming out and you don't actually see station. I think that's going to look cooler. Uh, now I just need to remove everything I placed that's not station. And then we're actually going to start with a drop. I think this is going to be cool. This is going to be a, a shuttle loop design. I think I mentioned that. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, that'd be cool if we could do a helix up. 
but we can't. All right, so if we do, that's 15 to 2. That's probably pretty steep. Oh, can we do a loop underground? How cool would that be? Uh, where are we at? Okay, so we need to start taking it up here, actually. And if I can do this, oh, that's so cool. A loop underground? I don't think I've ever done that before. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, underground view. I'm getting so turned around right now. Where the heck am I? There we are. <laughs> All right, and then if we come out, we come out right there. That's nice. And what if we actually do another loop here? I think we need to go one further. Vertical loop to the left. Actually, if I do end up bringing a walkway around, I'd like to do it on ground level. Um, so let me actually come up a little bit here just so we have that to work with. Actually, let's just... I don't know if this will work, but if we do a loop to the left here, and then we can just go straight up, I think. That should work. I don't know what height we need to take it to. Let's try 21, since we are going to be doing powered launch mode for this. Um, and you can only decrease the speed so much. There's a minimum speed you can do on these. So, okay, so that's the front of our station. And then we can do one here as well. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's see if I can get these walkways going without totally messing them up. They should snap pretty easily. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I want this to come up, I think, to like this footpath right here. It's kind of hard to see. Um, and it's going to take a little, little bit of work to get it there. Not a lot of work, but we're pretty deep underground right now. Uh, so this actually probably needs to go up even more. Yeah, definitely did. There we go. That's what I'm wanting. Okay, so we'll lower that by two. Tuck that so it looks nice and clean. And that should connect up right there. Perfect. I like that. And then I mentioned I was going to be doing a lot more scenery on this. So let me do that as I go, just to make sure I'm not going to forget it. All right. So on this, we're going to do kind of fence all around it just to classical Roman. That's not what we want. Dang it. We got to keep researching that, that theming object category. Um, but yeah, we're kind of going to stick with this type of fence. It's the closest thing to like a wrought iron fence with like barbed wire on the top or something like a super secret facility I feel would have that and it also matches the perimeter of this alien boulder that we are built upon right now and as soon as we get done with this ride we're actually going to make this thing look a little bit more like it came from space from an unknown origin I think it's going to be really cool I've got some ideas I hope you guys like them all right, so we need to take the exit up. I don't know where I want to run this yet. Um, this one still needs to go up pretty pretty tall. Um, we might be able to kind of do some things with it here to make it work. And I think if we actually go straight here and then up, this will actually work out real nice. So we can just lower this by two. There we go. And we'll actually remove that piece and have them do that. I think that works really nice. And for this line, we are going to be doing a do not enter sign using these standard ones. And again, we're doing kind of purple as our, as our main thing. I think that looks very, very alien. I don't know what it is about it, but I like that. All right, and then we'll grab our handyman for this general area. And let's see if he can cover that. He's going to need a little bit more access to this area. But that should allow him to go all the way down to the exit. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then let me see if I can actually place some benches underground. I should be able to. 
uh, there. Maybe some here. No? Is that... There we go. Oh, this is so finicky. The slightest movement of my cursor sends it flying. All right, I think that looks nice. We'll add another trash can down there as well. Oh, man, that looks cool. Okay, now that we've got all that done, let's actually see if this thing will even... Well, we need to paint it first. I was going to say, let's make sure to make it look nice, too. But we need to test it first. And wow, we've already used, like, all of our money. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have 10 grand we can take out. I think we checked that last time. All right, so we're actually going to name Roller Coaster 1... Project Red Light. I think that just sounds awesome. Uh, I went on a website, which I will link in the description. Uh, for any of these parks, I pretty much Google the theme followed by the word terminology just to get kind of familiarized with what I'm actually going to be doing. Uh, and so I Googled alien terminology. And again, I'll link the website in the description. But so you can check out what these things mean if you're curious. But Project Red Light is an actual experiment or project that was conducted by the government at some point, I'm pretty sure. Or, or this could totally just be some conspiracy theory website. I haven't really background checked it too much to see if it's actually valid. Uh, but anyway, Project Red Light sounds awesome. And it's going to look awesome because we're going to make this primarily red and white and black. I think that actually... I think that looks really cool. Let's try that darker red, uh, that kind of like crimsonish color. Oh, yeah. Project Red Light. That's awesome. All right, and then the trains will be... Oh, that's perfect. I didn't even have to change it. Black, red, and white. Perfect. That looks so good. Okay, we're going to set this to power launch mode at... Sure, we'll try... Actually, let's try the lowest that it can go, and let's see how this does. Uh, we might need to up... Oh, that's so cool. It just pours out of the... I forgot that it does a loop there. <laughs> that's so cool. It's like, why does it take so long to get through this tunnel? It's because it does a loop. All right, I think this needs to go a little bit faster. I'm going to bump it up to 29 there. Yeah, definitely needs to go faster because it doesn't even make it all the way back. So hopefully at 29, that should remedy that a little bit. That's so cool. Oh, I love it. Okay, that gives us plenty of room for the additional momentum of guests on the ride. And that should make it back. It does. It's actually perfect. I'm going to up it by one more and then open this thing. I think that's perfect. We're not going to have test results right away, so no one's going to want to ride it quite yet. But Project Red Light is good to go. And with it being Project Red Light, I'm having some change of heart here. Let's actually make the queue line red, or at least the part that's visible will make red. Because <laughs> even with underground view, actually, even with underground view, you can see it. Just kidding. We're going to do the whole thing. Yes, it's costing me money. Yes, we don't have a lot of money. But this is important to me, so we're going to do it. Okay, Project Red Light. Yeah, that looks so much better. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Once we get stats on it, at least. Oh, yes. Look at that. 6.08. Oh, yeah. Project Red Light. Making me that sweet, sweet money. All right, we're going to go ahead and charge $6.10. Oh, come on, we need that scenery and theming so we can start researching rides. Mind theming is next? Jeez. It's got to be after that. That or that kind of fantasy looking one. Who knows? There are zero people on that ride. We'll get them there. They'll come around. We just don't have that many guests in our park currently. And it's as small of a park as this is. Our guests are very much spread out. Um, they're not all in one spot. But once we build stuff all over the place, that won't matter. <laughs> and I know I mentioned I was going to decorate the land real quick. 
And so I'm going to do that, but I need to take out a little bit of money first to do it. Let's take out four grand. We're going to start simple and get fancier as we go. Actually, I can't do that yet. I need to wait till I get the uh, Martian theming objects because it comes with a land tile, that red and black kind of looking stuff. And that's what we're going to use for some of the land on this giant, giant space rock. So we'll hold off on that for now. And instead, we'll build some smaller things. We're going to station or position these kind of around, not all together, but on the... I think doing them on the... I don't know if I want to do all on the lower level. That could be kind of cool. Like, we could do a slide right here. Um, this can actually go here. You know, all this stuff can kind of go on the lower level, and we can link a path all the way around on the lower level. But then that kind of segments our park into like an upper circle, and then you've got to walk all the way down to get to the lower circle. And I'm not sure I want to do that. I don't know. Decisions need to be made. But for now, we can actually run this. Uh, I, I'm doing what I just said I didn't want to do. Let's put it up top. All right, so we've got Project Red Lights Entrance right there. And then this flat area right here looks perfect. Um, we can easily run the entrance along the side here. And then the exit can do that. Very simple. And actually, just to get a little bit more color in this park, the color purple, I actually want to do... Do not enter signs on every exit, as small as they are. I think it's going to add a little bit more to the whole Area 51 feel. Like a whole lot of restricted do not enter signs. Kind of like we did on Radcorp. Or, sorry. Kind of like we did on Geiger's Grove, where Radcorp was the formal corporation there. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, it's easy to get those confused, because they sound so cool. Okay. Uh, do we have a mechanic up here? Oh, we didn't hire a mechanic for this either. Um, that's going to be interesting. Okay, we'll place him there and hope he walks the other direction. Start going down, please. Nope. Whatever. Uh, we'll just cover all this. That should keep him somewhat where he needs to be. If he would ever go down the tunnel, there we go. All right, I need to watch him and make sure he can get to where he needs to go. Because otherwise, we're going to have issues. And a little bit of time doing this now will save us a lot of headache later. Perfect. He can get there. No problem. One, two. Okay, yeah, that works. We'll name this guy Red. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Okay. Back to merry-go-round one. Um, red can actually probably cover this as well. I think that would make sense. Since we are going to be somewhat conservative with our cash to begin with. I don't know why I just said it all like that. <laughs> all right. Merry-go-round one. Good to go. Let's up the rotations and open it. And we need a line. That might help. Ooh, I like that. I was originally originally just going to keep it going straight, but that little groove right there works perfectly for that and allows us to do a little bit of scenery and theming throughout these areas. Um, let's add some... I don't know if I want to do shrubbery on this park. I don't know if it's going to make any sense. Let me wait till I get the, uh, the uh, Martian theming objects before I really start decorating too much because that's going to be a primary feature of this park is the decor. All right, so let's make this purple and, what does purple and gray look like? Not much different, because the top is still purple and white. So let's just make it match, purple and white. All right, merry-go-round one, we're gonna name, there's actually a movie that this is kind of based on, but it has to do with aliens and I'm stealing part of the name. 
Close Encounters. I think the movie is called Close Encounters of the Third Kind, but it's about encounters with aliens. Or like close calls with aliens. It's not a movie I've seen, but <laughs> yeah. All right, Thunder Rock Chairlift. We haven't done anything with this. Uh, it's 253 and we're only charging a dollar. So let's actually up that. That's actually a really good line. Not so much over here, but that's pretty popular. I like it. And then the paint job. I like the, the supports. They're already nice and purple. What if we make these green? Kind of alien-ish. Purple and green. I don't know why that sounds or seems alien-like to me, but it kind of does. Oh, sweet. Martian theming objects are on their way. We are so close to getting those. Okay, yeah, we'll get those here in a few days. Oh, man. All right, we're going to wait until we get the Martian theming objects. We're going to decorate the three rides that we built this episode, and then we're going to call it. But there's some cool stuff that comes with the Martian theming objects that I don't believe we've ever even used. Um, it's not a theming pack that is very easily usable unless you create your entire theme around it, which is exactly what we're doing. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. All right, so the 26th of June, I'm getting impatient. Come on, come on. <laughs> and then we need to make sure as soon as we get it, we'll uncheck scenery and theming and recheck everything else because I want those things. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we wait. We can maybe add one other thing, a Ferris wheel. Let's do it kind of over here by the food court. We'll do the entrance right here, exit on the side. Look how productive I'm being. I was going to waste all that time, but nope. We're going to use it to build a ride. Uh, and we'll hire our own mechanic for over here because we're probably going to need it. Oh, so many things to do right now. Okay, we'll name this guy later. We need to uncheck this, recheck all of that. Because I'm pretty sure as soon as it says anything other than unknown for the type and expected... It's set in stone, uh, but if you change it before then, then it can research something different. So we're going to keep that as is. Let's make this purple and green as well. I think that's going to look really nice. So we'll do purple supports. Actually, let's do purple and white. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like that. All right, we'll go ahead and let's do backwards rotations. Why not? And we'll up it to... Let's do six. Why not? Sounds like a good number. Test it. Open it. Ferris wheel one is open and ready for business and is also getting changed to UFO sighting. Because it's the most circular thing. Kind of looks like a UFO on its side. Ha <laughs> ha. Kind of a pun here. Okay, so we named it originally UFO sighting. <laughs> but if you say it, and not looking at how it's spelt, it also kind of sounds like a UFO on its side. So we have a UFO sighting. <laughs> oh, I didn't plan that, but that's awesome. Oh, man. Dad jokes at their finest. <laughs> oh, people are riding Project Red Light now. So good. 14 people on ride. 13 people in queue line. This is going to get popular once we get people over here. But now that we have this lovely theme, or there's actually not that many objects, but the thing I was excited about was this. We now have Martian land, and we also have red wall edges. We're going to use those in conjunction, uh, but we're going to kind of, we're going to do this just kind of random real quick. We're going to speckle the land with kind of red deposits of who knows what it is. It's still being researched. Again, it's all from some sort of alien planet or who knows. Certainly not us because we just acquired this park to build a theme park. We weren't the ones doing the research at the facility. Oh, that was unintentional. I want to kind of spin my camera around and see how that looks, though. That might be a really cool accident. 
Oh, just like streaks down the side. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. If we just do like a couple of these, kind of sparingly, but still enough to where it's it's something. That's kind of neat looking. We're going to do these for now. If you guys think these look awful, let me know, but I kind of like them. Uh, we're going to add some more like protrusions from the land, like take a couple of these and lift them out of the ground. Kind of like they're some sort of crystal poking up out of the ground. I think it's going to look really neat. Oh, yes. This is awesome. That was a good accident. <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay, so let's do what I just said and let's decorate a few of our rides here with some of this... Where is it? Some of these. What are these even? Okay, so we've got a Martian building, Martian objects. That was very unoriginal of the developers. And we've got lamps. So these are actually the lamps for the park. We'll do that off camera before next episode, but those look really cool actually. I really like those. Those are awesome. I just want to place a few to see what they look like. That's really cool. Okay, so let's add a few random things. Please tell me this can be placed at an angle. They can. So we're going to kind of really heavily theme each ride. I think the last one we did this on was... Um, or like did this much theming. I know we haven't done much yet, but we're planning on doing a lot. And the last time we did that was, I'm pretty sure, Atlantic Oasis. We haven't really done a super detailed job of theming things in most of our parks. But that is changing here at Area 51. All right, we're going to do a couple of these kind of along the line. I think that looks kind of cool. And then one more here at the exit. And then one on the corner right there. I think that looks nice. We can't do too much with theming. Um, I took a look at, I actually watched some random video on YouTube of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. And oh my goodness, the theming objects you can do are through the roof as far as what you can do with them. Like there, there are so many more options. It is unbelievable. You can build buildings. And not just like with land, but like actual siding and stuff. It's really cool. All right, so this is the UFO. So let's actually... Let's do lights all through the line. I think that looks really cool, actually. That's kind of neat. And then let's make this one very light bulb focused. I don't know what these things are, but they're kind of cool. They're just massive bulbs. And let's do like a lander right next to it. Can't really see it from this angle, but if we rotate our view around, that looks pretty cool. And yeah, it doesn't look too much different from different angles, so I'm not too worried about changing that. And this looks like it's gonna be nice and tall, so we'll save this for something else. Oh, that's gonna be cool to add somewhere. It's a two by two, and we can also add a volcano. Oh, that's cool. Volcano. That's neat. I like that. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for this episode. Did we decorate everything we needed to? No, we only did two of the four. What am I doing? That's not going to quite do it for this episode. Uh, let's see what these look like. Oh, yes. Why does it keep doing that? It keeps just spinning my view and taking me somewhere I don't want to be. Look how cool those are. I like that. Let's actually rotate them. Uh, it looks like there's a satellite dish on the top. And if we do it this way, they should be facing outwards or towards the main path. That is cool. And we'll do like one set of lights right there. You can't see it from this angle, but it'll kind of give the perception that the tunnel is lit underground, which I think will be kind of nice. And then, what else do we have? Let's line that. That is cool. And we'll do like a Martian lander or two just kind of on the back. With maybe some of these sort of pylons, if you will. 
scattered around the area. Red light, Project Red Light is now decorated and looks so cool. And then down here for extraterrestrial egg, we're not gonna do too much uh, since one, there's not really room to do too much. We'll do one of these right here in the middle. Uh, some pylons on the backside and then these little guys in a diagonal pattern on either side. Nice and simple, very easy to do, but it adds so much, I think. Oh, cool. I love this. This park is going to be fun. I'm looking forward to this. It's a good last park, I think. It's going to be... Ooh, I've got some cool plans. You guys are going to like it. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're excited for what we do here on Area 51. I know I am. We've already done a loop underground. It, that's already something brand new. I mean, it's going to be awesome. All right, guys. I will see you in the next episode. And until then, as always... Take care.